Hello everybody, this is Aaron with Power Grown. Today I'm going to be showing you how to dissolve gibberellic acid. For that, you're going to need an organic solvent such as alcohol. Um, two different kinds of alcohol will work. I recommend ethanol, which is basically the type that you drink. If you can get a 70% pure ethanol or higher, that'll work. Uh, for this purpose, I'm using denatured alcohol, which I picked up from the Home Depot. This is just ethanol with a bittering agent, denatonium benzoate, added to it so that people won't drink it. I also have some denatured alcohol 200 proof that I picked up from the Lab Alley website. That works. It's the same thing. It's just a different container. And rubbing alcohol that I got from Walmart. Rubbing alcohol doesn't work quite as well, but it will work if, um, if you can't get the other two. Uh, but it requires a little bit more effort. But I like to do things easy, so I recommend the ethanol. So what we're going to do is take a scoop of the gibberellic acid using one of the scoops that come with our kit. These kits are designed so that you don't have to do any math, any of the calculations, all those are done for you. Just refer to the, to the kit, refer to the instructions, and um, decide how many PPMs you want to make at a given volume of water, and they'll tell you how many scoops to use to your volume of water. It's real easy. Anybody can do this. I've taken the hard work out of it and made it simple. So just add your gibberellic acid to your container. This is a little measuring cup that I picked up at Walmart. Um, I'm going to use about two milliliters of the ethanol. I've already got that in my syringe. Just give it a light stirring here. You see it dissolving. You could probably use less alcohol. I recommend experimenting. Find out the just the lowest amount you can use. And if you get to a point where, like if you're working with siege, you need to be real careful with the amount of alcohol you got in there, um, use less and uh, stir it until it dissolves. Not all of it's gonna dissolve if you don't have enough alcohol, but what you can do is pop it in the microwave and uh, and heat it up but you have to keep your eyes on it because it'll flash boil and that, every, all the all the alcohol will boil out of your little container it only takes a couple of seconds two maybe three seconds to boil this much alcohol and uh, make sure there's no open flames no cigarettes nothing like that around when you're doing this at any rate there you have it that's completely dissolved all you got to do now is get your volume of water that you needed, stir it, and then slowly pour your gibberellic acid into it. And then what I'll do is I'll undo that to get it a good rinse out. You want to make sure you're stirring your water as you pour the GA3 into it because it could recrystallize if you don't. I hope that helps, guys. If you need any help, have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to drop me a line. Thank you.